Okay, so let's talk about GoDaddy and adding WordPress to all of your domains. All right, with GoDaddy, it's a little bit different than HostGator. So when I couldn't see your account or your screen, Will, um, that was part of what's causing the problem. And before we do our next training, we will definitely use a, a, a tool where we can share screens with each other and, and switch control back and forth. Um, so I'll get you that information here um, shortly. But I wanted to make this video to show you really quickly how this works. First of all, you need to get to the point where you're logged into your account and you can see right up here, um, I'm at this page where it talks about hosting details. Okay, And once I'm in the hosting details page with the hosting tab highlighted here, I'm going to go over to the right and right over here under hosted domains. Okay, what's going to happen is is you're going to see probably just your willcorrente.com or whatever main domain you set your hosting up on. Now, again, I'm making the assumption that you have unlimited hosting account with GoDaddy, which would be the ultimate or one of the one of the hostings where you can add have unlimited domains. Okay, um, and what would then happen is you would just see just that top domain that is listed there and I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what's happening for you you just have one domain and all the rest of them don't show up so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you you're not highlighting the the you know the willcorrente.com or whatever domain is showing up there you want to click on the all domains button right here and make sure that it's showing you um, all domains now again it's only going to show the one but you want to make sure that that all domains, the words all domains right here is highlighted. Okay? Then what you're going to do right over here on the right is this black button that says add domain. All right? So you're going to click on add domain. Once you click on that, it's as simple as this. You're going to start to type in the domain. Okay? Um, like for example, if I started to type in the domain name, um, I could select there'll be a drop down box with all the domains. In this account there's only three domains in here. But this one is goodvibrationsdetox.com. Okay? So one way or the other I'm going to type in the domain I want to uh, add to the hosting account. And then what I want to do is create a folder for it. And the best thing to do there, just so you can see everything clearly, is to type in the domain name again but don't use the extension so in this case I would type in you know um, good vibrations detox but I wouldn't add the dot com so I'd leave the dot com or dot net or dot org off in that case okay and then I would come down here and click the yellow OK button right here okay so now it just added good vibrations detox um, to the hosting. So then what we can do is we go back over to the home part of hosting, that, that kind of hosting details page, and we open up the options and settings uh, tab. We click on WordPress, and now what happens is we're able to then, from the dot drop-down box, select the domain that we want to add WordPress to. So in this case I would select Storch Stingrays. It's already going to put the, the correct directory in here for me. So if I wanted this to show up under StorchStingraysLacrosse.com um, I wouldn't put anything additional unless I wanted to put a new folder at the end of there which, which I can't see why you would want to do that. At least based on our original conversations, create the username, create the password, and the email address, and then um, save everything. And it will install WordPress to each one of those sites. So hopefully that makes sense. A quick five minute explanation here, and we can get back on the right page. All right, thanks.